Hey guys, this is Paul, coming to you live from Andrew's room with another exciting episode of Proving Science Wrong... Da 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 There's no theme song. Today's victim is the very ancient and very wrong notion known as Zeno's Paradox. Just so you know, I don't even think people still believe in this anymore, but I'm sure that won't stop him. Zeno's Paradox basically states that you can never actually outrun something moving ahead of you because there's always an ever-changing midpoint between you two to surmount. Kinda hard for us today to understand, right? Well, I don't think the ancient Greeks did either, because they had to illustrate it with a myth starring the hero Achilles. And a tortoise. Now, in order to carry out this experiment, we're going to have to assign parts. So first we have Achilles, who's of course a strong, incredible guy. But we don't have anybody here like that, so we're going to use P-Monkey. Ha ha. Wait. Didn't Bree take P-Monkey to Jonas's? Yeah... You went to Jonas's?! As for the part of the tortoise, do we have any takers? Well, I guess you could use this tortoise I found. Uh, I guess that'll have to do. Before we start, we should name him. How about Paul? Anka. His name is Paul Anka. Okay. Now, in Zeno's scientific illustration, a tortoise challenges Achilles to a race. I don't know how, I thought this was science, but he does. Feeling bad for it, Achilles gives him a ten-foot head start. Yet despite his speed, he's never able to catch up. According to Zeno, this is because when Achilles started out, he had a five-foot midpoint between him and the tortoise. However, every time he'd reach that midpoint, it'd be replaced by one half its size, and it would be another one for him to overcome. This would literally get to the point where there might be a midpoint of a mere two micrometers between Achilles and the tortoise. But even then, after that, there'd still be a one micrometer midpoint waiting in the wings. This could continue on down until you're using hydrogen atoms to measure the distance. Now, if you still don't actually understand what we're about to prove wrong, well, that's what Wikipedia is for. Alright, it appears everyone's in place. As you can see, our friend here will be racing from the top of the towel. That is because, as Andrea's genes just found out, tortoises don't have very large bladders. Uh, welcome back. Uh, anyway, I hope you make best of this head start. It's time for the moment of truth. Will Zeno's paradox hold up? Ready, go! Come on. Yeah, that's enough of a head start. Alright, get ready, Achilles. He better watch out. Because if the paradox holds true, we're about to let him adrift into a sea of infinitely multiplying midpoints. Oh, I might surely want to do this to him? What a horrible fate. Ready, go! Well, Achilles, 6,000 years later, and I can think you can officially say that Zeno's paradox is officially busted took long enough. Well, that's all the time we have today for proving science wrong. Hope you tune in next time when we do something... hopefully not involving animals. And even though he may have lost, I wouldn't worry too much about him. He's in life. I hear it's turtles all the way down. <laughs>